everybody, welcome back to a, another video. Today I have some new watercolors that I want to share. So we've got some water, a couple of jars to clean our brushes off with, and we've got my new setup that I think I shared. Or maybe, was that on Twitch? I don't remember. <laughs> I shared, um, it was either on Twitch or here or both. <laughs> <laughs> a version of this and let's see let me get a we'll, we'll use this pen I'll grab these because they have water in them and then um, I do need a pencil on crayon yeah, we'll use this. Do I have an eraser? Wait, I think my eraser is back here. But my watercolors are back there too that I want to sh Oh no, they're not. Where did I put those? There's my eraser. Where did I put my watercolor tin that I normally use? I think it's behind me. Let's look. Yes. This is what I normally use. I um, had a credit at Amazon because I had bought something for the house um, that we ended up not needing. Um, it was for our, um, like it's a portable air conditioner that you can move from room to room that it has like this window outlet uh, where like you, it like blows hot air out. I, I don't know how, I thought we needed a new one of those tubes. We didn't. Um, and so I sent it back to Amazon and I forgot to tell them to credit my, uh, what's it called? My credit card. And they put the money on a gift card at Amazon. Of course they did. Cause you know, that way I spend more money with them. Um, and so while well, I had that, and I'm like, well, I am on a no spend. And since the money's there on a gift card, I'm gonna get some, gonna get some watercolors. So the first little set that I ordered was this little six, six tuplet, I guess, of glimmery, shimmery uh, watercolors. And then there was a set that I've been wanting to look at. It's this brand, Niji. Niji, their watercolors uh, are made from the same factory that makes the Phoenix, and it's also the same factory that makes the Zen Arts. Um, they have the same, if you look right here, I think I shared this with you, the same pH on the bottom of the pan as the Phoenix. And it's also the same factory that makes the um, Winsor Newton Cotman uh, paints. Um, and I saw this palette. I think they call it their essentials palette because you've got your your new Gamboge, which is kind of like your, your yellow, your phthalo blue or ultramarine, depending on what you want to use. And you have your like Alzerian crimson, kind of like your your three, your yellow, your blue, your red, that you can then mix. Um, but they had some other colors in here that I liked, like the purple lake and the permanent rose, the burnt sienna, burnt umber, sap green, indigo, I love a good indigo, and Payne's gray. Um, I. In my Zen Arts palette here, I don't have many of those colors. Number one, I don't have a sap green. I've got like an olive green and green oxide. Actually, here, wait, I think I have the, yes I do. <laughs> so the greens I have are olive, oh, it's a jade green, permanent green and aurelian green. Those are the greens I have. 
Um, I do have an indigo. Right here. Right here. Right here, indigo, that's sepia. Um, that's a Prussian blue, which this set doesn't have. Um, and see, like, the green is a viridian hue. I don't have a viridian hue over here. Um, like, I have something similar. Like, this is a quinacridone rose. That's a quinacridone violet, very similar to the purple lake. They call it cobalt violet hue, but they also call this cobalt violet hue, and those are two completely different colors. That's why I think this is a quinacridone violet. But, um... And like here, this is a gamboge, which is kind of like this one right here, which is Indian yellow. So I wanted to give them a try and see what I think of them. So I did make up this swatch card here myself, and I did swatch them in here. And again, remember, this is not right here. Eh. Just to kind of see how they are. And then I also swatched the uh, the CY art, CSY Art Gallery glitters. And then I took this crystal uh, silver and added it to some Payne's Gray, some Indigo, some Thalo Blue, um, some Permanent Rose, some Purple Lake, some Crimson. And you can create your own <laughs> glittery shimmery if you have, you know, something, this one they call Crystal Silver because it's silver, so it's very see-through, so you get a good blend of the color of the paint that you are using as your base. So that was fun, but I wanna use these little paints and I wanna make some little birds. I was watching, um, it was a, a YouTube short video and the artist was Ellen, oh, I can't ever remember her name, Ellen Crimini, something like that. Um, and she was doing these cute little birds. And so I'm like, I wanna do some cute little birds. So we got our Hello Kitty swatch. And I have some paper towels as well. I've got a pencil, a um, waterproof pen, some aqua brushes. I'm gonna use both the glitter and these watercolors. I should probably check to see if I'm in the screen. Yeah, that's not bad. I always end up like favoring this corner. I need to learn to spread a little bit. And here, we'll open up that little. I should make a little swatch for there too. So she had just was just making these cute little birds. And they were very, very, very simple. So there was a, a little bird looking up. There's one little bird. This is why I have an eraser. Sorry, the table screws need to be tightened. Here's a little bird number two. 
Then we'll do one over here. We'll just have them kind of looking straight ahead. There we go. So we've got three little birds. <laughs> And what I actually want to do is I want to put watercolor down first, I think. Usually I always end up um, let's see, this is the phthalo blue. Let's give this guy a little bit of blue. And I'm not erasing my pencil marks. There's no need for that. All right, we're just gonna let that pretty blue go in there. Now, let's take a purple. Let's make a purple one. And see, these wet so well. I mean, look at that. All I did was dab my aqua brush in water. That's what the color is. There we go. Now, how about the viridian green? Because I never use a color like this. These are going to be some bright birds. I'm leaving a little bit of space. Sorry, it's 101 degrees today, so you might hear the fans. And there's not much that I could do about that today. It's just too darn hot. There we go. That's a really pretty bright green. So now, we're gonna take some of this gamboge color. And put it on the belly of the birds. And if it blends in with the previous color, that's such a pretty color. This Niji brand is Japanese sounding Yasumoto Niji. The only thing is it's an American company based out of like San Francisco, I think. So I love the tin just because it's really pretty blue. Normally the tins are black. And that's one thing I, I kind of like about the Zen Arts is it's that pretty white with red. We're gonna see if we can get that to 
blur in as well. And then we're gonna do one more here. Trying to make it smooth. Now, what I think I'm gonna do is take this burnt sienna, because it's orange ash, take a little bit of that gamboge, and that's gonna become when it dries a little bit the color of the beak. Just having a little fun, drawing little birdies. Let's also use that for the legs of the bird. And see, these are just like simple little shapes that you would draw when you were a kid. They don't have to be anything fancy. See? Fun little bird. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe mixing. for glitter, or for the mica, or whatever, <laughs> whatever they have in this glitter stuff. We're gonna put, um, we're gonna take a little bit of this pearly color, I'm just gonna lightly paint over the yellow and green that has been made. We'll see what that did. I don't know if it did anything. This one, what I want to do is go over the purple. I feel like I'm putting a top coat on like fingernails or something like that. Fingernail polish. <laughs> And I think what I want to do with this one is go with this pretty little color. Let's see, what is that? Oh. And go over. Here we go. And 
I wonder if you can see in here. You can see like little swirls of glitter. Wow. <laughs> now, we're gonna let these dry a bit. Most of that's dry. We're gonna color the eye. And I'm just going in and adding some definition to it. And all I'm doing is outlining the little bird. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna get his little Here, this one might be a little on the wet side. What I'm going to do is fill this in a little bit just to make sure I got it. And move some of that glitter around. do the same thing with the green up here. So I'm gonna move the green around. There. <laughs> Those are so fun. Let's do little swatches of the colors that we used. So we used this pretty, pretty, pretty Viridian. Um, we used this pretty purple lake. Do another little dot next to it. Same thing with the gamboge. And then a little gamboge dot. Oh, we better do that with the viridian too. A little viridian dot. Uh, 
Phthalo blue is the one we use, right? And we did use a little burnt sienna. with a little bit of the gamboge. And it made that mix. Now, we used for the glitters, we use this pretty green glitter. And on top of the Viridian, it looked like that. And the last one we used was this pretty pearl, which we used on top of the purple. And that gold. This is what it did on top of the purple. So pretty. And this is what it did on top of the new gamboge. That's something that I always like to do. And then I'll even write in I'll write in the, I'll write Niji 12 set. And then I'll also write C, S, Y, metallic. And then when these dry, I'll write exactly what the names of the colors are. But I just thought we would do a fun, quick little tutorial since it's summer and all the birds are back, you know, your birds don't have to be anything fancy or special. And I need to make sure that when this is dry, I will go in and draw that wing. So there you go. You got to see what I used. My new little 12 set and my new little six set of metallics. And they're really nice watercolors. Um, you know, they're, they're, uh, they say that they're artist grade. They're kind of like Winsor Newton Cotman. They're like a high quality student grade. Um, they have them on Amazon. I think there's other places you can get these. I got this because I saw them and they looked like those like Hydra Colors or all of those other little Etsy stores that used to make their own watercolors. And I just wanted to see what they were like. So there you go. I hope you have fun with this little tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.